Hey everyone, Joe from Ableton here today with the brand new Tracker Pro 2 head mouse. I'm gonna take you through what's in the box and how to get it set up. When you open your Tracker Pro 2 box, you're going to find two things. On top, you're going to find a box of accessories. And then on the bottom, you're gonna find the beautiful new Tracker Pro 2. Inside of the accessories box, you will find the USB extension cable, Tracker Pro 2 quick start guide with instructions on how to get started, dual lock that can be used to mount Tracker Pro 2 to a computer or tablet, and then reflective dots which are used to track the movements of the user's head. Tracker Pro 2 comes with a built-in stand that allows you to set Tracker Pro in front of the user on the table. You can adjust the angle of the camera to uh, better see the user. Another option is you can remove the base and use the dual lock on the bottom of Tracker Pro here to mount it to the back of a tablet, on top of a laptop, or uh, to a computer monitor. Tracker Pro 2 uses a standard USB type A connection and is compatible with most devices that can use a standard mouse. This includes Windows, Mac OS, Chromebooks, and then the iPad and iPhone on the new iOS 13 or iPad OS 13. Please note that you may need to purchase a separate adapter for um, converting the USB type A connection to either USB-C or Lightning or some other type of connection specific for your device. Getting started with Tracker Pro 2 is really easy. I have a laptop here. I've already applied a piece of dual lock to the case of the laptop. This is that dual lock that we saw in the accessories box that comes with Tracker Pro 2. So I'm just gonna take Tracker Pro 2 and push down to attach it to the laptop. And then I'm gonna take that USB type A connection and plug it into the side of the laptop. Now that we have Tracker Pro 2 set up on our laptop, we can connect a switch like the Jelly Bean switch here for left or right mouse clicks. Just simply plugs into the switch jack. Otherwise, you can use a dwell selection software for left and right clicks. Um, some operating systems like Mac OS have it already built into the operating system. Other operating systems like Windows will require a separate dwell selection software to be purchased. The final step before we get started is to take one of these reflective dots and stick it on our forehead or nose. You can also stick it on your glasses or the brim of a hat. Uh, Trekker Pro looks for the reflective dot to track the head movements of the user and move the mouse cursor on the screen. All right, so we have Trekker Pro set up here. I've got an on-screen keyboard for typing set up. I have uh, two jelly bean switches set up for left and right clicks just for this demonstration. Um, you can just see small head movements to move that mouse cursor around the screen. I'm gonna try to get down here to the Safari browser and select it. And so we've got the browser up. I'm gonna open up Google and I'm gonna do a search for AbleNet. So we've got our automated Google results here. And we'll just do a quick search and see if we can get to the website. So you can see in this demo, my keyboard is blocking some of the screen, but you can move that keyboard around the screen on most of the softwares or hide it after a certain amount of time. So just wanted to give you guys a quick demo of Tracker Pro in action here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and close out of my window. And there you have it, Trekker Pro 2. 